Hi girls, Melissa here and today I want to show you the layouts that I made with my April hip kit. But before I show you, I will just quickly show you what I've got left. So this is the paper and as you'll see it's pretty much scraps. Some of this I will keep and the smaller bits I'll put in the recycling bin. That there was probably my favourite paper of the entire kit and I used it on probably almost every layout. There was another paper as well that also was yellow with hearts. That I think it was Webster's Pages and I loved that one as well. These are the embellishments. So there were two of each colour of these tiny words and I've got a few of them left. Sequins, cut aparts, words, more cut aparts. Um, I think the only because oh, I've got some of those die cuts, not many, and that's the only piece of wood veneer that I've got left. So those will go into my stash and get used up. These are the thickers. These were the beautiful words, and unfortunately my one-year-old got into them and damaged some of them. Some are recoverable. You can see there that wonderful is a bit pulled. Um, I'm saving these for my, well, not saving them. I'll add them to my next kit. So I'm looking forward to using them up. These are the Maggie Holmes chipboard. And Azaria is having her birthday, well, on Monday. So I'll be able to use up some of them for her birthday. And these thickers, the silver ones, I love them. There's just so many thickers and title stickers, I guess, in this kit. That I had trouble using them all. So the black I absolutely love. They're so versatile and they look amazing on every layout that I use them for. So I was really happy to use those. And these are the pink, they're also the kitten thicker. And I didn't use many of them, but I love them. And because I've got girls and I love my girly layouts, so I'll just carry them over to the next kit as well. So on to the layouts. This is them here, and I think I made. 15 or 16, so I'll go through them one by one. This one is called Our Little Sweetheart. It's the first one that I made. And when Azaria, I think she was three, she came home from childcare with this calendar and it had this photo of her on it and I was about to throw it out. I know, that's a bit mean. But anyway, I was about to throw it out and She's nearly six now and she was quite horrified that I was going to do that. So it was on orange paper, which I didn't like that much. So what I did was, the photo is laminated, which is probably why you might be getting some glare. I just cut the photo out and then I thought, might as well scrap it. So this is the first layout I made with the kit. I always struggle with the first layout because it's, um, you know, first cut is the hardest. And I took that the heart paper that I talked about before, you know, there's two heart papers in the kit. This is the Webster's Pages one. So I did kind of nearly two thirds of that. Then I punched some of the um, live in colour paper. And then I just had some embellishment cluster areas and put my title at the front. So happy with how that one turned out. This one is a 6 by 12 pocket page and the photos are of um, our baby, she's rolling for the first time and I managed to capture that. So, but it's taken at night after her bath and because of the play gym is pretty full on colours. It was, I found that it was too hard to scrap this in 12 by 12 because of the colours of the photos. So I thought pocket page would be the way to go. So I just picked two of the cards that kind of went with the photos and then embellished and I just, so she was four months when she rolled. So it was really awesome to capture that and I just added to this as a title card which said great times so I put oh yes you roll great times just plain wonderful so that's that one then you would have seen this one this one had a process video for let's get sketchy this is her turning one so I love this page so much and it was the first time I'd sewn through chipboard which was a bit scary and um as I always did, I started with a sketch and then made it my own, so just used lots of the goodies on there. And this was the first time I really got back into sprinkling my mist in a more full-on way for me. So yeah, love how that one turned out. And um, as you'll see, both of the yellow heart papers um, carry across 
to each of the layouts and that will show you and um, we've made a real effort to use a lot of the same papers so that's that one this one is the one that goes next to that one and actually reminds me this one didn't have a process video but this one did and this is the, so the second and third page so because I had so many photos I did um, another 6 by 12 pocket page and I just use that paper to journal on. This one has a process video so if you want to see it in more detail. Um, I love that. I love you memories to cherish. That was from Webster's Pages cut apart and it didn't need any embellishment at all because it's just so beautiful. So some of the things I put on the outside of the pocket. That's the other side. So it's her opening the presents and that's another really awesome card and I just added one of those sequin flowers that I made. So this one has a process video. This is a third day up about her birthday, and um, this one I did for stuck sketches. I was playing along there, and you would have seen that I smudged my ink. So the way to fix it was just to smudge all of the ink, and I have kept the outline. I forgot to say as well. So I love how that one turned out. This one I made when I was really starting to get down to the scraps, and so I had some of this left over so I put that on both sides and stitched out. Uh, one way of dealing with scraps is to get your die cut machine out so I use my cuddle bug and cut some triangles and then I've just you know layered these up and added some sequins. So that's pretty cute. This next one is also her birthday and it's about her and my other two children helping her with the presents and I just love that little sweet photo there. So for this one I really wanted to use up some of these cut aparts. They came in the embellishment kit. What I forgot to say is that I got the main kit and the embellishment add-on and so I started by just doing a massive amount of sprinkling and then put this side bit down and then just worked out where I was going to layer things up and cut these papers into the banners and then yeah I liked staggering those and I sewed across each of them so I was glad to get these title thickers down so that's the last page to do with her birthday. This next one is not my favourite but um, it's done and uh, if you've been watching my channel you know that I've started a new, well, my first ever series which is called Child Free Friday and so every Friday which will either be my Friday or probably if you're in the States it'll be your Thursday. Anyway, um, I need to make an effort to scrapbook photos that don't have my children in them hence I've called it Child Free Friday. So every Friday I'll have a video up that shows me challenging myself to scrapbook something other than my children. So at the moment I'm working on my informal wedding album and I've, I shared on that video that at our wedding we gave the guests disposable cameras on every table and some were black and white and it was back in the day before there were digital cameras. <laughs> Makes me sound really old. Anyway it was 12 years ago and it was really fun to get the film developed. I still remember back in the day getting the film developed and seeing the photos that people took. So I'm just doing this informal album and there's no rules, it's just about getting these really awesome photos down. So this is the one I did of my husband and his best man and his groomsman. So yeah, good, glad to have that memory recorded. This layout is also not my favourite, although I love the people in the photos. Um, I had no scrappy mojo when I made this, but I really wanted to create something. So. I knew I wanted these photos to go together because it's about two of my friends, it's her son, meeting Brielle when she was just born. So memory's down and it's recorded and it'll go into Brielle's album. The next one is also one of the first layouts I made. This one's for Let's Get Sketchy. There's no process video but it's about the difference that two months can make um, breastfeeding, exclusively breastfeeding my baby. So I've called it Liquid Gold. Because people would always ask, what do you feed her? And I'd say either you know, the cream or liquid gold. And I was really, really happy to get this little elephant down on the page. I know some people struggle to use it, but it's perfect for a baby layout. So, yeah, I'm really happy with how that one turned out. And I was in a real um, 
pink and yellow phase at that stage. This one is about Sam turning eight, so his birthday was at the end of March, and this is probably one of my favourite layouts of the entire kit. I really wanted to feature that arrow paper, and this kit was really girly, so I wanted to do my best to try and make a couple of boy layouts that didn't use any pink, so I, as soon as I'd seen that um, paper plane die cut, I knew it was for him. He's big into origami, and when he was age three and four at childcare, he used to come home with bags of paper planes that he'd made, and he's still into that now, so yeah, perfect for him. And the journaling is in my words about what he's like at eight. I had, so I sewed this down, tucked those cut parts behind, that's one of the Annie Tangerine die cuts. I sprinkled up here and I loved using the cloud and I was able to put the banner off it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I do a page every year about my children at what age they turn. So this is the first page. And then I've made a second page and I like to get my children's voices into their scrapbook pages. So this one is his favourites at eight and I do this every year. So I picked the funny photo of him because it really sums up his cheeky fun personality. And I've mimicked, as you can see, I've mimicked this one here, how I've um, tucked those behind the paper. And yes, I did use that green paper after saying I didn't like it. And I have to admit, when you use it in a small piece like I've done here, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So what I did was I went through and asked him questions like, what was his favourite sport? What was his favourite joke? What's his favourite food that I make? What What's he watching? Um, what's his favourite craft? His favourite food? And all that. Um, he asked me not to make this layout a feature on YouTube. Well, he didn't want me to do a process video. He'll be fine with me sharing it because he feels, I guess, some of these things are quite personal to him. But yeah, I'm really happy with how that one turned out. And while I was in the mood for making an informal wedding album, pages I was getting down to scraps so these next three pages are really how I deal with my scraps and so with this one I this photo here someone had taken of us having our first dance and there was a guy's face there and it was a four by six and the only real part of the photo I wanted was that one of Sean and I so I've cut it down and put it in that frame and then I just went through and picked out the diet um Cutter parts that really went with the colour scheme. I love that one that said us, and I love the camera. So I've called it First Dance, and it's got a subtitle that says Right Now. So, yeah, happy with how that one turned out. It's quite minimal for me, and was pretty quick because it's just a grid layout. This next one I absolutely love. Maybe also, I know I've already said this, one of my favourites, but Sam took these photos, we went to Wanaka, which is the next lake over, it's about 40 minutes away, and you have to go over the Crown Range, which is a um, mountain range, and at the top we stopped and had some photos, and he used my DSLR and took these photos of Azaria and I, and I can't remember if he took this one, I think I made, I think I did, I put it in the journal like that, I took this photo just to show the view from where we were standing. So this was, because it's an outdoor photo, it was a really great opportunity to use some of the more neutral craft, natural, I guess, die cuts. And I trimmed off, this This had more detail around it, but it was a bit full on, so I trimmed it off. And that one's quite full on too, but I've tucked it behind, which I like. And I hadn't used many of these um, peach coloured words, but on this one I was able to get them down, so... Yeah, and, and when I placed these sequins, I actually just kind of threw them on the page, and that's where they landed, so really happy with that one. And I love the fact that I've got photos at my sun top. Now this one, break my heart, this layout had a process video, and then my computer decided to corrupt the file. So I was quite gutted, because um, I love how this one turned out. This is also for the wedding album. It's two of my friends and my sister. And... You would have been able to see me do some scrapbook surgery and fix something I wasn't happy with. So I had put, um, I'd used the packaging technique behind in sort of this area and this area, but I really wasn't happy with how it turned out. So I actually had to cut these, the strip of banners off the paper and start again. So this one's quite clean. Um, I used one of the Amy Tangerine frames I didn't like, so I 
decided to cover it with pattern paper and make it work for me. And I'm really happy with how that turned out, and I'll probably do that again. So that was kind of my starting point. I had all these pieces of paper oops, that I knew um, I wanted to layer in some way, so I just turned them into banners. I put a glassine bag, which I've tucked behind, just with a bit of interest. And that party word for me, Holmes, was perfect because it's you know it was our wedding reception and everyone was partying, so that was great fun. And then I just went through it with three of the stickers. Um, and I, when I first saw this die cut, I quite, I struggled with it because I didn't want it to sit on its own because it is you know asymmetrical, angular. And a bit more difficult so I wanted it to look like a book well it is a book page but what I did was I popped up you can see there um, some pop dots and so it kind of looks like there's a book page tucked there and you can lift it you can't you know you get what I mean and um, I wasn't going to put anything on this frame but then I thought that these worked really well three because there's three of them and my final final touches was just a splatter and I love I've done this cluster here because I love that that's a chandelier and it's the top. And the edges I've just done with um, acrylic paint dabber that came in, I think it was two kits ago. So that's the final layout. Thanks for looking and um, I'll be back tomorrow because it's Friday with my Child Free Friday video.